Hello and welcome to a very special show where we are joined by the director of Stellar Academy, Yogendra Singh Sirkawar. Uh, sir, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. And more importantly, uh, for, uh, I have to congratulate you because you have been setting, uh, setting gold standards, I would say, uh, with respect to producing the NET uh, state topper at uh, 2021. Uh, if not mistaken, it is Abida Barreto who yes. has scored 680 out of 720. Uh, this apparently happens to be the, the, the record. How does it feel to, to be part of this journey? Uh, you started very young. Uh, with respect to Goa and you have this accomplishment within I think two to three years now. It feels really good actually to see that the hard work which we are doing, mm. the hard work which our students are doing and they are getting a very good result and then their parents who have shown their trust and faith on us, mm. they are getting a very good result. So it's okay. a very good feeling and we would like to continue giving such results in uh, other competitive exams also. Mm. So it's a good thing. Uh, apparently, it has been the highest score in an NET exam here in Goa. You know, uh, what kind of preparation went with respect to uh, the person who answered and, you know, uh, was it a set goal that you want to hit a target or, you know, it just apparently be became into a, a gradual process? Basically, the student Abida, she was a very good student. She mm. uh, was a meritorious student right from the beginning. Mm. So, it was basically more of uh, nurturing her. Hmm. Apart from teaching the subjects, physics, chemistry, bio, which, which is botany and geology, but the more important part was to prepare her to give her best. Hmm. Secondly, to make her realize that any score which was uh, attained earlier by other students, hmm. that is not the limit. Hmm. Usually what happens, no, we as a human, we set a limit that, okay, this is the limit and beyond which I don't want to go. Hmm. But when you want to compete with students across India, when you want to give a result which is the best across uh, our various states, then you have to set your benchmark very high. So whenever she was writing the exam and she was getting 650, 660, 670 hmm. also, every time when she was telling me, sir, I have achieved this much, hmm. I used to tell her that don't think that this is your final uh, hmm. maximum score. You are going to score much beyond this and much better than this. Hmm. And I am happy that she proved that uh, this was right and she gave her best and uh, that is a milestone so far for the neat result in Goa. Hmm. Uh, I just want to ask you one more question is when you, you have a lot of pressure of, of the parents and obviously the school and uh, you know peers rather uh, to accomplish something and these are very competitive exams that you are part of. You know, uh, just as, as, a, as a message or maybe as a guidance for parents who you know either have, have set standards for their uh, children and more importantly when it comes to competitive exam how do you approach a child where you don't pressurize the person and still try to get the best because this involves a lot obviously education is part of it and also there is a lot of psychological part which which goes into this process and, and this is very special that you know you guys do it so how how is that particular aspect basically see uh, teaching is one part hmm. in which you are training them for every kind of questions that are asked in competitive hmm. uh, exam neat exam or iit in or other exams hmm. but apart from that in almost every class for two th three minutes or five minutes we also train them psychologically hmm. psychologically in the sense see because they prepare for one year or two years it's a long time hmm. so during that time many times they feel like hum se nahi ho hai. we cannot do this and this is going too much it hmm. is uh, too much demanding for them so what we need to do is during this entire time we need to tell them that okay you need to move a little bit more hmm. you need to move a little bit more from the very first day when a student is coming to us and writing the exam we don't say that you need to score 720 hmm. or you need to score 650 Whatever, first we observe that how much they are scoring. Hmm. If suppose a student is scoring 550. Hmm. So in next test, then I tell them that you need to get 570. Correct. And when they achieve it, because 550 to 570 gap is not much. Hmm. So they think, yes, if we put a little bit extra efforts, then we can get this. Hmm. And when they get that, then we encourage them to give a little bit more and to score a uh, little bit more higher. Hmm. And that's how with every passing test, we nurture them, we encourage them to give their best and improvise also hmm. and apart from that when they suppose when they reach beyond a certain level let's say 630 640 hmm. then scoring each and every number is very difficult hmm. why because now the gap left is very less hmm. so then we need to work on 
speed also because they need to attempt the entire paper in 3 hours only hmm. we need to work on accuracy also we need to work on concepts also we need to work on how to approach a question in minimum time also hmm. so many things which are there we need to work upon and we work with individual students after that because see teaching is for everyone true but when you are working with toppers then you need to work with each and every individual student hmm. Uh, keeping a point in mind that what is their strength, what are their weaknesses and accordingly what is to be given to them so that they can move forward. Okay. Because every individual is different. Okay, uh, there's a saying that going when going gets tough, the tough gets going and yes. obviously uh, when it comes to your competitive exam that you are part of it, uh, it takes a lot of uh, training, rather a year of, of you know, engagement that happens, more than that rather. Uh, I just want to ask you is with respect to people who made this decision, you know, we saw pandemic, we saw SOPs, even now when the schools are open, people are still wondering whether exam should happen or no. And we've seen a different kind of a world altogether. When it comes to NET preparation, especially the last batch that went through, uh, with all these challenges, with SOPs, with pandemic, you know, with that pressure of whether, you know, we'll get through, how was that particular aspect? It was actually very difficult because many times some many parents were saying that uh, we are not calling them offline. They need uh, personal attention. Mm. Now, see, some parents wanted this to happen, but there were many others also who did not want to send their kids to mm. institution. Mm. So we need to make a fine balance. So mm. what we did basically, those who wanted to come for doubt clearing, mm. we uh, told them that yes, you can ask your doubts on online also, preferably online. Mm. But if someone is uh, saying, no, 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 we want to come for offline also, only. Mm. Then in that case, what we did, we allowed them to come following uh, all procedures, basically uh, wearing mask, mm. maintaining distance, mm. and we cleared their doubts in offline also. But such students were very less. Mm. So basically, you need to cater upon the requirement of all type of people maintaining safety and security as the topmost priority for mm. the students. Mm. So that was the first priority because, see, for every parent, for any parent, the most important thing is life of the mm. kid. So we ensured that everyone who is associated with is healthy, happy. That thing was the for topmost priority. And beyond which, the second priority was their learning and preparing them, enhancing their uh, preparation for the competitive exam. Mm. So that was the priority also. Uh, you had a successful sprint for the last uh, academic year. You know, I, If I can ask you, what is the secret? of, of uh, the entire thing, what, what would you like to sum up? Basically, you know, uh, making student realize that there are people who believe in them. Hmm. Because students have that potential. But what happens, hmm. many times due to various influences, it could be due to uh, parents also, could be teachers also, hmm. could be neighbors also. So what happens now, at many hmm. point of times, they are being realized that no, they are not that good. Hmm. But in our approach, it is different. Hmm. What we work upon is we tell them that, see, wherever you are, if hmm. you work hard, if you work sincerely, you will be a better student if you work hard. Hmm. If you will be learning more, your understanding about subjects, your understanding about competition, your understanding and knowledge of the subject will be better. Hmm. So there is no harm in learning. And winning or losing is a part of game. Hmm. Not everyone can become doctor or engineer. So what we can do as a human is we can give our best mm. and we encourage our student to give our best, give their best. Okay. And when we work hard, then God rewards also. Okay. Uh, uh, Stellar has had a wonderful journey here in Goa. You, you know, quite young institute, but still, you know, you have your uh, 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 school or outlay at uh, Porovari, then you shifted to, uh, then you had another opening at Margao. Now Vasco is something that you have added in your kitty. How do you see uh, this, you know, uh, growing up in the state, a small state like Goa, one, and also a new city like a, a Vasco? What made you, uh, you know, shift your focus to Vasco, basically? See, uh, thing is that we have not shifted our focus, hmm. but the thing is we wanted students of Vasco because hmm. they were either traveling to Panjim or they were going to Margao. So when they travel for, let's hmm. say, uh, one hour or half, one and a half hour or two hmm. hours, it drains them. It, mm. you know, sucks their energy because when energy is less, then you cannot perform well. And we have seen that also, that when the knowledge is mm. sent, is uh, given to them at their doorstep, 
then they are left with more time more energy hmm. and they can work upon on revision also they can come for doubt clearing also which is not possible if they are living 30 35 kilometers away True. because they think also that who is going to go there for only 5 10 questions hmm. but when teachers are available close to you hmm. you can just go there and clear your doubts and come back hmm. so that interaction between teachers and students hmm. close interaction that actually produces the result because when a student interacts with the teacher hmm. then teacher gets to know that how a student is thinking Respond. in the hmm. process in the approach towards questions in the approach towards subject hmm. what is that which is lacking hmm. so that input can be given in such way only which hmm. cannot be given to the mass in the class hmm. so when you are teaching in the class you need to have a certain way of teaching hmm. but when you are interacting with students one to one when you are clearing their doubts then you can tell them that you are approaching this in wrong manner hmm. this should be the right way and that's how if you work if you study you can produce a better result and you can get a good score okay uh, for the last three years, your, your journey here in Goa, you've seen an amazing result. You know, the success ratio has been huge, tremendous. You have had uh, toppers at uh, uh, Goa board, CBSC, NTSC, as well as uh, NET. You know, as, as a young institute, how do you see, you know, growing up here in Goa, uh, making uh, the students more, you know, firm in taking a competitive exams one and in terms of expansion plan or in terms of vision in terms of growing up yourself you know how do you see your institute growing up here in goa as you uh, rightly mentioned that we have given uh, topper of cbsc 12th goa board hmm. we have given uh, topper of uh, cb uh, this uh, goa board uh, 12th also hmm. cbsc also then neat uh, level 1 or th this hmm. neat competitive exam and the ntsc level 1 also so mm. the main now focus which is left for us is to get the topper of IIT mm. and apart from that to ensure that the toppers which we have given in these competitions they continue to be from our mm. institute. So mm. this academically is our uh, focus mm. then uh, to ensure that students across Goa they are getting good quality teaching mm. and they are producing very good result and they are bringing laurels to them their mm. family and for society and mm. state. So we want Goan students to compete with All India students. We want their result to be at par with the All India students. And we want their merits to be, let's say, suppose if a, we can get a student who is in top 10 in All India ranks mm. or top 50 in All India ranks, then we will be thinking that now we are successful. Very true. Okay, uh, medical and engineering happens to be the most sought, sought after careers you know, uh, improving results maybe or improving students' output, productivity. Uh, how do you see uh, this particular aspect or has there been a shift? This is happening actually. Mm. Earlier, things were easy for uh, Goan students. Why? Mm. Because the competition was through GSET. Mm. So GSET was only of 12th exam, 12th mm. syllabus. Very true. So things were easy and uh, now because of NEET, they need to write for 11th syllabus also as well as 12th. So they need to learn more, they need to work hard more. It is not like, you know, you don't pay attention in 11th, you be focused in 12th and you can get into a medical mm. college. Mm. Same is for IIT also. Mm. So now, because they need to focus upon the 11th portion as well as 12th portion, mm. so it is important that someone is there, teachers mm. are there, coach are there, who are coaching them, so that they can know how to get the knowledge mm. of 11th portion, 12th mm. portion. When they are in 12th, then how they are doing revision of 11th mm. and how they are preparing themselves mentally also. Because when you are competing with best of best, then you need to be mentally prepared also for the competition. True. So everything is uh, we try to incorporate in our students. Mm. Those who are really sincere and focused, they pick up those things. Those who don't uh, pay that much attention, they get mm. selections. Mm. So we focus on producing uh, ranks also, merits also, as mm. well as to ensure that maximum selections are from our institute. Mm. So there's a lot of efforts that goes into yes. uh, in sorting out the student makes it to the, the best league that right. is possible and that is available. Um, we've seen pandemic happening. We've seen this, you know, entire effect, entire learning process, you know. Uh, how do you see Maybe now that the world is coming out with uh, Goa, especially with 100% second dose also is, has been there and world is coming back to normal. Goa is coming back to normal. How do you see this process 
uh, has it affected a student one and more importantly with respect to goa and goan education institutes is there any cut off that you know has been compromised or will there be any change in in, in that particular aspect due to pandemic there is no doubt that learning of students have been hampered hmm. it has been hampered tremendously hmm. not just uh, those students who are with us but hmm. across goa also and across the world also hmm. because there were no physical classes available hmm. so what has happened no many students are facing uh, emotional challenges also because hmm. they were at their home hmm. so their energy was not channelized hmm. they were not getting uh, chance to interact with their friends also so such things are uh, we are observing that hmm. uh, we need to work upon the emotional well being of students also we need to give them psychological uh, boost also hmm. because earlier what was happening because exams were online hmm. so many times it was happening and we were knowing that students are writing copying from google hmm. now when exams will be offline hmm. and now going forwards exam will be definitely offline then they are going to face that challenge also hmm. so the worst hit will be those students who were in you know 9th to 11th during this two years hmm. because now they are going to be in 10th or 12th or they are going to write competition hmm. and they are not that thoroughly prepared hmm. so my suggestion to them is don't think that exam can be online hmm. it will be definitely offline you need to prepare because there is no other way hmm. please keep it in mind don't pray for miracles also <laughs> because miracles don't happen uh, so often yeah. so now going forward exams will be offline you be ready mentally also if you uh, require any support yeah. you get in touch with your parents also your yeah. teachers and they will be supporting you mentally also and in your efforts also you are good students all of you yeah. you just need to give your best th without thinking about what is going to be the result whatever the result is going to be we all are with you your parents also your teachers also and other people in society also so what you have to do is give the best yes. that you have yes. um again you know last question that i would like to ask you is uh, uh, in this new age of technology you know a couple of years that we have seen a lot of apps we have seen a lot of competitive exams or maybe apps in terms of educational uh, sector as well uh, how do you see your journey Uh, stellar as well as you know all this competitive apps you know, how does it make difference because you also take that online route right but then again here is is something that you have you know established brands who impart education only through online how does it make you different from and what what is your message or what is your take on this basically see one thing which is very important mm. is nothing can replace offline teaching True. when a teacher is teaching face to face then depending upon skill of teacher mm. teacher can very well realize that how much their uh, students are learning mm. and what all can be done to make them involved in the process of learning mm. in online involving students is very difficult if suppose you have 100 students and out of those 100 if suppose only 50 are participating mm. you cannot do much for remaining 50 students mm. so online can be a stop gap arrangement mm. online can be a way of learning for them those who don't have access of offline education hmm. but offline cannot replace online hmm. but going forward people can work on such models also where they are teaching in a hybrid mode where suppose uh, need of going to coaching is reduced hmm. for suppose uh, doubt clearing if it can be done in online hmm. or for other things also hmm. but still nothing can replace offline this is for sure hmm. and the good things about online should be incorporated in offline teaching also so mm. going forward the world world is going to learn in a hybrid mode of learning those mm. who are going to utilize it in a effective manner they are going to have an edge over completely online or completely offline okay uh, we hear kota as as the factory of students okay uh, you have been part of it you have seen how our things are in kota Uh, in the recent times during election we have seen a lot of promises and some promises were that you know goa should be this hub that hub uh, medical hub and all, all stuff uh, can goa become an education hub because i see your journey within 3 years you have three uh, branches now three outlets now can we see goa become into an educational hub in in long run actually i dream to make goa a hub for education mm. because when i came to goa mm. 
those friends or those people who were known to me, they used to ask, who studies in Goa? And honestly, that was... A <laughs> Goa is where people yes. come to party, right? Yes, because they had that image of Goa, of a tourist mm. spot and people having fun all the time. Even they <laughs> ask me also, whenever they call me, mm. they ask me whether you are at the beach. <laughs> but that is not the case. There are extremely mm. brilliant students also, mm. bright students also, mm. who are in Goa. And they need the support and nurture, uh, nurturing mm. and guidance. Mm. So if someone is there to guide them and mm. they are ready to work hard also. Mm. So though basically we label Goans as Susigat, <laughs> but there are students who are really mm. uh, willing to work hard mm. if someone is there to coach them and guide them. Okay. So we want to raise the level of education mm. in Goa in such a way that People should come from neighboring state to Goa to learn for mm. competitive preparation. Mm. And a little bit of that is happening also. Okay. We have a few students who have joined us from Maharashtra also mm. and states. from uh, Karnataka also. That's nice. So that thing is happening, but number is less. Okay. So we want to uh, make it further and uh, we want Goa to be known as hub of education. Okay. Uh, now that the students are coming back to school after two, uh, one and a half year, two years time span, uh, obviously, there has been gap in terms of you know how we organize ourselves. There is to be a discipline that we would get up at morning and go to the school, and there would there, were, there was certain discipline apart from what we would learn. Uh, also, uh, competitive exams uh, we haven't heard much maybe a couple of years back, but now people are very much focused. People know people, uh, parents know as well as the students are aware of this kind of examination, and they should be preparing. Uh, one final message to especially the students, I wouldn't say any other people, but the students, how to cope up this particular phase that, you know, coming back after two uh, two years of, I wouldn't say slumber mode, but a, a stopgap arrangement rather. That is one and also uh, looking at competitive exams in future. So basically, first of all, when they are going back to school, assume that school is your second home, hmm. the teachers and your friends which are there, they are there to support you. And secondly, apart from that, uh, learning is very important. When you learn, then only you progress in life. Mm. So focus should be on learning, apart from your extracurricular activities also, which are also important. Mm. And if you really work hard, then definitely you will be rewarded with a good result. Mm. So keeping that thing in mind, have positivity, positivity, have faith. And those who do good, good things happen to them. So your result will also be good. Mm. You keep working hard with the support of your parents and teachers. I think you ended up on a very uh, good note that, you know, good things will happen in, in future. Uh, Yogendraji, it is always pleasure to interact, you know, and, and talk to you about education and obviously uh, competitive exams, that which maybe when I was studying, I would be staying away. But I think that was one of the mistakes that I did in my career. I, I, I don't want all my fellow Goans, especially who are students, not to fall in the trap and, you know, take competitive examination and prepare for it and, and prepare for their future. Yogendraji, uh, thank you very much. Pleasure it was to have you on the show. Thank you so much.